Coming up on Saints Now by Chat Sports, Saints cut candidates, some players that New Orleans could move on from now that the NFL draft is well gone. Tyre Matthew jerseys are available. We'll have a link for you guys to go pre-order a jersey for the Honey Badger if you want to represent. Some Noti Gang shout-outs. We'll give you guys some shout-outs at the end of the show. Find out who made that cut. Plus, go ahead and subscribe if you are a part of Who Dat Nation. We recently crossed 6,000 subscribers. Help us out. Hit that big red button for more Saints videos. And by the way, we want to know where Who Dat Nation is representing from. So shout out your city. Let us know where you guys are watching from. Maybe you're there in the great city of New Orleans or maybe you're elsewhere like we are here in Dallas, Texas. I want to hear from you. Shout out your city down in the comments. All right, with that being said, let's jump into today's video. That, of course, is Saints cut candidates now that, you know, we're well into the offseason after the NFL draft. Five players to keep an eye on as we progress this offseason. Number one, Traquan Smith, the wide receiver, who the Saints have tried to make work for quite a while, but he's never really taken that next step. You look at his numbers from last year, 32 grabs, 377, three touchdowns, an average of 12. Obviously, drafting Chris Olave made some of these other receivers a little bit more expendable for New Orleans. I think right now, you know, is she your number three? Is it Marquez Callaway? Is it someone else? You know, I don't know. It kind of depends on how uh, they feel about some of these guys. I kind of like Olave and Thomas on the outside, and then Callaway is my slot. Uh, so we'll see if Mark uh, Traquan Smith fits into this offense this year. Uh, I thought a couple of years ago he was poised for a breakout, and it never really happened. So uh, we'll see if it can happen uh, this year for the Saints. But if they don't feel like it can or if he doesn't show a lot in OTAs and on into training camp, maybe he's a guy that gets cut and does not make the Saints 53-man roster. Now name a player that you would like to see the Saints cut or that you think of a player that could get cut by New Orleans. Let us know down in the comments uh, who will not be a member of the Saints next year. Next up is Nick Vedette, the tight end uh, for New Orleans. And obviously, a lot of consideration here, considering Taysom Hill is going to be a full-time tight end now. You look at Vinette's numbers last year, mostly a blocker, nine catches, buck 33 and a touchdown. Uh, you know, he could be a safety valve type, but he's not going to, you know, fool anybody as a guy who can catch 50 passes in one season. Adam Trotman is a guy that they're still trying to develop, hopefully, hoping he can turn into a big-time player. They added J.P. Holtz, who's kind of a fullback tight end hybrid this offseason as well. I think Taysom Hill as a receiving tight end will be heavily involved involved this year. So if they want to save a little cash and uh, clear out a player, Nick Vanetch could be a guy that they end up doing that for. You got a ton of tight ends, seven on the roster. I mean, you don't need seven tight ends. So whether it's Vanette or someone else, one of these guys is going to get cut before the 2022 NFL season. I am fascinated to see how Taysom Hill does as a full-time tight end this year. Cesar Ruiz, the offensive lineman out of Michigan, who I know a lot of you Saints fans aren't a big fan of. He just really has not shown a lot since getting drafted a couple of years ago. You look at the depth chart here for the offensive line. I guess he'd probably still start as of now, but you could go in a different direction if someone else shows a little bit of something uh, on this roster. Obviously, the Saints for years have had great offensive line play, but Cesar Ruiz has just been okay. He's been kind of underwhelming as a guy they spent a premium pick on a couple of years ago, gave up five sacks uh, last year. Obviously, he's got that center versatility, so that makes him a little bit more valuable, but if they're frustrated and don't feel like he's a guy uh, that that is going to be an impact player for years to come, then maybe, just maybe, uh, he is a guy that could be on the chopping block. Hey, Saints fans, I know you hate the Atlanta Falcons and the Dirty Birds. Uh, if you're one of those, subscribe, turn on those notifications, because we're coming for Atlanta Falcons today here on Saints Now by Chat Sports. About to pass them in subscribers. So if you can't stand the ATL, if you don't like the Falcons, just subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you know exactly when we publish a video, whether it's me, Mitch, Tom, Chase, producer Trace himself, whoever has you guys covered, hey, we're going to have you guys covered. That is the point here at Saints Now. 
A couple more cut candidates for the New Orleans Saints. We've already gone through Traquan Smith, Nick Vanette, and Cesar Ruiz. How about Taco Charlton, who's had quite the career and uh, not in a good way since he was a first-round pick with the Cowboys back in 2017. Uh, showed a little promise that first year, but then he got phased out of Dallas. Goes to Miami, actually plays decent, had five sacks. Thought he was okay with the Chiefs in 2020 and limited snaps. He had some uh, injuries that year, but did have two sacks and I think like seven games, so that's not too bad. Uh, last year only had half a sack for the entire season. Again, didn't play that much much. Obviously, there's some talent in there. He was a first-round pick, but he's pretty much been a bust in his NFL career, just over 10 sacks in five NFL seasons. Uh, so he's a guy, you know, on the 90-man roster right now that he's going to have to prove a lot to this Saints regime uh, to be worthy of a 53-man roster spot. We'll see if he can do it. Could be one of his last chances to stick in the NFL. Saints fans, have you ordered your Tyron Matthew Saints jersey? Type O for ordered or for, of course, or type N for not yet. And uh, if you haven't, uh, no time like the present, right? Like we've got jerseys available. They're being printed and made as we speak. So you can pre-order it right now at chatsports.com slash honey badger. He's obviously not going to wear double zero, but once uh, the jerseys get printed, we'll get those sent out to you and you guys can represent the honey badger. It's a homecoming, unlike the likes of which we have seen in recent years. So if you want to represent honey badger and pre-order his jersey, go to our link below. It'll be in the comments. It'll be in the description. Chatsports.com slash honey badger. One more time, that is chatsports.com slash honey badger. All right, one more cut candidate for the New Orleans Saints. That is Andrew Dow, the linebacker uh, for New Orleans. Just 15 tackles last year. Kind of one of these fringe roster spot guys, special teams, depth linebacker. Um, you know, you got Zach Bond who's looking to take another step this year. We'll see if Dow can make this 53-man roster. But linebacker is one of those positions that – Eh, guys come and go, right? Like you typically have your one or two guys that are studs. Demario Davis, obviously that guy for New Orleans. Uh, Andrew Dow could definitely be a guy that ends up getting cut before the 2022 season. But I'm excited about the competition this year uh, with – this Saints football team. I think there will be competition on both sides of the ball, and these guys are going to have to fight like hell to uh, suggest that they are worthy for a 53-man roster spot. So there you go. The five cut candidates, Traquan Smith, Nick Vanette, Cesar Ruiz, Taco Charlton, and Andrew Dow, five players that could get cut before the upcoming season. Name a player that you want to cut. You're in charge. You're Mickey Loomis. You're making the calls. I want to hear it from you guys in the comments. Name a player that you want the Saints to cut. All right, we promise some Nodi gang shout-outs. People who have joined the Nodi gang by turning on those notifications. Chad Robbins, shout out to you. The Griffey Drip Fam, hashtag who dat. Uh, Chino's 5102v2. We got Typical Gamer in there. Uh, Randall Baker, Willie Smith, Kenneth Baptiste, Carlos Benzardi, Jay Halliburton, and Donovan Grayson. You guys are awesome. The most recent members of the Nodi gang. If you want to join it and potentially get a shout out on a future show, well then turn on those notifications after you subscribe. Select the all button and uh, hey, Future shout-outs coming here on Saints Now.